Welcome back to the Sell for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today we're going to look at how you can do fade in and fade out through actions. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as, um, as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so we are inside Loopy Pro standalone version because we don't need to be inside a host and uh, I have loaded a previous project which I already used in previous tutorials. I have a button here which is being customized with an action and when I click on the button it will actually toggle the state between play and stop of this clip on the right hand side which has a drum loop okay additionally when you click on it if the clock is not already running it will start it like so. And as you can see, quantization is on as well. Now, let's leave it like so, so we have the clock running. Let's go in edit mode and let's edit that button. As you can see, we have the um, action which we have created in previous tutorials, which will play and stop the drum loops. Let's click on it. Now, as you can see here, under quantization, which we have seen in a previous tutorial, you find fade in and fade out. It says default now. Let's click on it. And it says use default settings on, which means that it will take the fade in and out duration from the settings of the target clip. What does that mean? Well, it means that if you exit edit mode and you scroll up in the, on that clip, you will find that here down at the bottom, the fade in and fade out options. Now, as you can see by default, you have micro fade for both fade in and also for fade out. Okay, you can also set it to zero, but it's probably not recommended. Now let's increase the fade in to something like 9.9 .9 or around 10 seconds to make sure that you see a difference. Now I'm going to, um, click now uh, to start the, playing the uh, clip and you will see that as it starts to play it will have a fade in. So hopefully you saw that uh, and you heard that the sound is coming in fading in slowly. Uh, Indeed, if you open up the mixer, you see it also here on the level as well. Let me show you. You can see that the level has increased gradually because I had a fade in um, time assigned. Now let's uh, remove that or let's reset that to actually be micro fade, which is the default. Let's go back in edit mode, select the button and the action. So you can define your fade in and fade out based on the action that you have selected. So in this case, when you press the button, we can customize to have something like a fade in of 12.9 seconds and a fade out, which is actually off. Why don't we try? So here we go. Let's click play. You also noticed a different color on the clip. Let me show you again. Look, it's increasing the color as it's fading in. And it's flashing. And when the fade in uh, time is expired, you can see the button stops flashing and you can see the normal uh, color for the clip. Of course, we can also do fade out as well. So let's try it. And uh, as you can see here, it says 12.88, uh, that is your fade in. And then it says 0, 0.00 seconds, which is for your fade out. Okay, so we could say, um, okay, make it 8.5 seconds to actually fade out. Let's try.
And you noticed that the fade out kicks in when the quantization has expired. So instead of stopping, it will gradually fade out. Okay. So in this way, you can um, define your fade in and fade out as you uh, prefer. Okay. The other thing I want to show you as well in this video, let me um, reset this to use the default setting, is that you can also to set the clip to play in a loop or also to play once. So let's try this and let me show you how that works. Let's click play and I'm going to now override the click again. Okay, and it stopped because it was set to play only once. Of course, if you want to reset it to play normally as a continuous loop, you can re-click here and therefore when it, um, it, the button is pressed, it will continue to play in a loop. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the short tutorial and as always, see you next time. Bye.